Richard here, Ultima Fitness Training once again, and thank you so much for watching the video. Today, we're doing a video about Ask the Trainer Show, so hopefully, Richard will have some really good questions for me. Over to you, mate. First one, Fat Diets, Atkins, Cambridge, things like that. What are your opinions? Cool. Uh, obviously, as you guys know, I've done a lot of videos about diets, training, supplementation, loads of different sort of like uh, subjects. Uh, that's one of the, the subjects that I've talked about before. Uh, let me just go back to your question. Do they work, or what do I think about them, or what, what do they do to people? There's, um, there's several things there. A bit of everything, really. Right, okay. Uh, put it this way, what do I think about them diets? From a health point of view, they're not very healthy. Uh, they do, obviously, uh, they're not going to affect on how people look if they do follow what they advise to do. So people tend to lose a very, 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 very weight very quickly. But they obviously, a lot of the diets they, they, they give, um, they're not very sustainable. So a lot of the times you'll probably do it for three or four weeks, then uh, jump off the wagon again, or fall off the wagon if you like, um, and you end up putting a little, bit, a little bit more weight on, and then you go back on those diets again, and, and basically it's like a yo-yo diet really. So you lose weight to put weight on. Um, from a health point of view, uh, they're not very balanced. So what happens is you tend to obviously um, lose weight very quickly. You lose weight, yeah, but you don't feel healthy. Uh, and they're not really alongside a very good fitness program either. So it's not really an healthy lifestyle. So I, would I advise my clients to do them? No. Um, do I advise people to obviously become the greatest version, become healthier, fitter version of themselves is with a balanced diet. Nothing, nothing but a balanced diet. Now, uh, as you guys know, I, I train a lot of people trying to get obviously onto stage. I mean stage, I mean um, fitness model, main beginning model. Again, that's not uh, a, a great health diet either. It's great for your body in terms of uh, how you look, but it's not really good for your health, uh, obviously, as well. So I don't advise them diet either. But obviously, if people want to come to me and say, this, I want to I wanna go on stage, I want to do this and that, obviously, that, that's the certain diet to prescribe. However, from a healthy point of view, it's not healthy. So that's more of my, 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 my opinion on them diet is, would I advise them to do no? Uh, they have a knocking effect on their health and your mental set as well. And in the long term, I would advise them no one to be doing good diets, really. Okay. Um, I've recently gone vegetarian, um, trying to put muscle mass on, I am struggling. Um, what do you advise me to do? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I went vegan for 12 years, so I know a lot about vegetarian and vegan. Uh, quite, it's not similar, uh, when I say similar, it can be quite well, some, <clears throat> some similar similarities. However, obviously, vegan is non animal. So, um, is it hard to pull weight on muscle on? Now, what happens is, is if you're trying to pull muscle on, you obviously need to have a certain amount of protein uh, in your system in order to grow. However, and this is the big thing really, uh, before you even think about that, make sure you're training uh, the right intensity, the right amount of weight training that you're doing that runs parallel with the diet as well so a bit of a mouthful really but what i mean by that is make sure obviously your diet uh, corresponds to the training you're doing because a lot of people are doing and obviously richard obviously he does a lot of running so if you do a lot of running it becomes very catabolic if you become catabolic it's very hard to build muscle so that's even before you even think about your diet so a lot of the times you do that Excuse me, your day might be really good, but if you're running, you're doing marathons or half marathons and 10Ks and stuff like that, it'd be very hard to put in the I'll let you can't think of that. Yeah. Cool. Now, obviously, um, this is one thing I, I say to you guys, obviously make sure when you are doing uh, training for yourself, make sure your training corresponds to the goal you want to do. Because a lot of people want to do it a lot of, uh, they do a lot of activity, but the activity is the wrong one. I call it being on a wrong motorway. So say, someone wants to say to me, let's go to London, and I'll jump on a M6 North. Um, I am on a motorway, I am on a way, but not on a way to London. I'm going on a completely different direction. So make sure when you're in the gym, or make sure you when you jump on a diet, make sure that diet corresponds to the goal you really want to achieve. Does that make sense? Yep. That's really what the thing is. So with all that said, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure you visit me on uh, Carlos Trainer on Instagram, also on YouTube, which is uh, Carlos Trainer. And with all that said, on behalf of Richard and myself, stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit. Take care.